for our second test on the Ford Explorer. Now this one has been uh, completely built and it is in service. This is a 2016 uh, police interceptor utility. What I've done is the uh, vehicle is running right now and since we are mounting the carbon monoxide detectors on, on the vehicles, uh, I went ahead and uh, already mounted it on the prison partition. And we're just going to go ahead and turn on our carbon monoxide meter. And you can verify that the vehicle is running. We're going to go ahead and start the stopwatch. And we have the meter taped to the inside of the vehicle. Okay, we're back. Vehicle 2, test 1. We're a little over 7 minutes. The reading, hopefully you can see. Let me see if I can get this blurred out. It is about 1 or 2 parts per million. Vehicle is still running. There you can see the other uh, detector. So we'll come back and check check it out one last time. A little we're over 10 minutes. Conclude uh, vehicle two's first test. Been a little over 15 minutes. As you can see here, hopefully we can get out of the glare. It's only about one part per million. It's been fluctuating between that and two and zero. Vehicle still running. The detector on the floor is not going off. And I also wanted to point out that we have the uh, ventilation system on inside uh, so that we are, um, you know, taking any air and bringing it inside to make sure we, we get a good accurate test. Okay, we've just started the uh, stopwatch again. We're now going to be starting test number two on vehicle number two. Again, vehicle two is the vehicle that has been fully built uh, and is in police service. For this test, I'm going to have all the doors and windows open including the, the rear hatch. And I have my meter here, so we're just gonna walk around the vehicle and see if we have any indications uh, in the rear of any carbon monoxide. Okay, so I'm a couple feet back from the back of the vehicle. Now I'm over where the uh, detector is. And again, the detector is only a, a few feet away from the vehicle. So call it four to five feet. Okay, now we're about a foot from the uh, rear bumper. And again, our hatch is open. So I'm gonna be placing this uh, meter in different locations. I'm gonna start off by putting it in the back where the hatch is. And we'll let this uh, continue to, uh, to okay, go. Okay, we're going to check in on test two. It's been about five minutes. We've got the uh, meter in the very back. And that's the highest amount we've, um, we've seen yet. So looks like it's fluctuating between... Uh, oh, it's going up. I think I saw 6 was the low and 12 is the high. Again, that is just right in the back hatch area. Okay, we're checking in again. Again, the meter is in the very back of the vehicle, right above where the exhaust comes out. You can see one here and one over on this side, so just a few feet away. And we are currently reading uh, between 5 and 6 parts per million. So I'm going to go ahead and take this meter and move it to the front. Okay, so again, we're about six coming out behind the vehicle. Let's just see if this goes up any at all. I have this about maybe three and a half, four feet off the ground. I'm just going to step down a little bit. Now we're about a foot off the ground. And we're about a foot away from the tailpipe. Project 12X. 
and you can see we've dropped down to one part per million. Okay, we're now about the 15 minute mark and as you can see we're between one and two up front. Again, this is the driver's side seat. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the uh, rear compartment, see if there's any difference. Okay, we're gonna finish up the second part of the test. You can see we're almost at 20 minutes. Again, this is a test where all the doors and the rear hatch are uh, all open. Vehicle is running, has been running the whole time. We currently have the uh, gauge. Okay, tank turned off. Let me turn it back on. Get a current reading. Let's see here. Let's see, we're hovering between one and two, and we're in the rear uh, prisoner seating area, and then. Up front, let's take a reading here. Again, this is the driver's seat. And we're between one and two. Let's go back to that rear hatch. And right now I'm just walking around, so I'm right about where the rear tire is. Now we're directly behind the vehicle. You see it's starting to climb here. So I'm about a foot behind the vehicle right now. And let me just set this right in this uh, rear hatch area. Give it a minute to stabilize here. And you can see we're immediately dropping down. So again, just come back right out here about a, maybe a foot or so behind the vehicle. Okay, so we're about two, maybe almost three feet behind the vehicle. You can see it's starting to climb again. None of the uh, carbon monoxide detectors, neither the one here or uh, up front went off. Again, I'm going to put this back in the car just so you can see that the meter is working. Circulation mode, right? Yep. And um, it's just right here at one to two the whole time. Okay, we are finishing our drive test, and the highest PPM is four. Keep switching back to three and four. 